Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake. We're back with another episode of Order of Battle, World War II. This game was developed by the Aristocrats and published by Slytherin. As you will notice, we are starting at a different place with a slightly different looking control panel. The reason for that is, is that you must hit record. If you don't hit record, you don't get the battle recorded. Thank goodness I saved it as a replay. So that's what we're doing here. We're uh, basically on turn 14, which is where we left off. I'll narrate the best I can through the remaining portion of it, but it, literally it's going to do everything that I already did because we're just watching a replay of it. So I apologize for not being live if you will during the course of the battle but i forgot to hit record so there you have it but i'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel hopefully you'll find this one interesting and uh let's uh get into it we are playing the red star and the val Pari scenario so literally we're just uh repositioning some aircraft trying to take down a couple of their aircraft without losing ours and attempting to clean up anyone from the north coming out of Valparais before we make our assault on it we have uh, 10 turns before the end so we have plenty of time, but it's going to be close, I have a feeling, because we don't know what's in that town yet. So, moving up some infantry here. I'm going to uh, take a look, pulling back to protect infantry and attacking with my tanks. Oh, look at there. Wow. <laughs> that is obviously slightly incorrect. Did you see him throwing that? Hand grenade from way back there. Uh, it was interesting. So this would be fun because I've never actually done this before. I uh, watched the replay, so we'll take that start the replay off. Like I say, we literally did not know that was there until it blew up in our face. And we're just bringing our troops from the south and uh, moving north. We still have one secondary objective to get so we'll be working on that at the same time that we're consolidating our forces moving to Valpari so we're spotting so we can do some bombing we'll take the knock these guys down a little bit Two units there. I think we uh, kill them both. I'll kill that one first. I'm not sure what the second one's going to do. Like I said, we still got our tanks moving up. We're holding off, engaging that because we're not in a rush. We'll make sure that we have all of our troops lined up. And there we spot that armored uh, tank. Armored tank. Armored. Uh, Railroad piece. Yeah, that armor railroad car got some big, big guns on it. Aircraft are down in strength also. And they still got a bomber, so. Okay, you can see that uh, nothing really has changed, so we'll let's uh, go ahead and continue. Like I said, we gotta keep that unit spotted in the town so we can target it for bombing. Because it's heavy weapons, they can shoot at my airplane. I'm not 
not sure how that guy attacks from that far away. I think that's a replay issue. So, we've already seen a couple of weird things as far as replays, so... We shall wait and see what happens. A little bit of support, the conscripts over on that corner, uh, the eastern side of the map, did pretty good. Did we take down this airplane? We did not. Yep, that time we did it on purpose. We wanted to take that out so we can just move through that crossroads. Good mine lane by their guys. They have a couple of crossroads that they laid mines at. Makes us move around just a little bit. So, like I said, we're just moving everything here in the west up so we can um, make a major assault on the bar. Right? Craft back to land. I don't think their turns take all that long. If I remember correctly, she don't have enough units. Um, but an anti-tank gun that moves up. Forced me back. Now I got this darn armored train. And airplanes run away, run away. Again, uh, no real change. Get rid of this unit here in the center. It's just to be a problem, child. Did find out the heavy artillery cannot shoot if it moves. It actually takes two turns for it to become in battery again. Which I guess is kind of realistic, which is kind of nice. Uh, that uh, unit didn't move but it did actually move off of that space so which when then we discovered an anti tank uh, gun right behind it he's gonna stick his nose out we gotta go around that water and apparently that lake is not completely frozen so we literally have to march both sides to envelop here. Which is interesting. And we're just pulling this guy back to make sure that he doesn't get destroyed. We get him hid in the woods. Another aircraft needs to rearm. Uh, soften him up a little bit. Bring my bomber in and definitely teach him a lesson. All right, let's see if we can get this guy out of the city and get the secondary captured. Yeah, that's definitely showing that that 
that unit is in the wrong position. It's right up against that city. Alright, just uh, damaging it. Oh, and he moved them off. So, enemy defenses were severely weakened when our forces managed to secure key objectives in the vicinity of Valparai. So, there you go. We got more points because we captured that uh, area. So, we'll continue on here. He pulled back. And then our, it was our job just to make sure that we killed him. He'd been in the woods and hidden, so that works out pretty well. Uh, got this unit. I think we take him out. Yes. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Obviously. I don't believe that he's sitting there because my tank is sitting right on top of him, but... We'll wait and see. Okay, and the armored train goes back into the city. He's wrecking some havoc on a couple of my units. They got a heavy weapons unit in the center of town that we're going to have to eliminate. Okay, we've now taken the secondary, uh, the second of the secondary objectives. That's what I want to say. So, we got two, two. Now all we have are to accomplish is our primary objective, which is taking Valparai. So. Or V for I, maybe? Maybe it's V, V, I? There is no L in it, so I think I've been mispronouncing it. I'm going to go V for I. Oh, my aircraft got to land. that one heavy weapons unit that we need to get of. Yeah, I don't know where that's being thrown from, but... Wham! Okay. That truck actually moved, so the fact that it blew up there, I'm hopefully this replay shows that we finished this campaign. Bring our heavy weapons. Ah. Seventeen. Like I said we're now we're just moving our stuff to envelop uh, V per I. And we're setting up to leave our. Um, Conscripts to hold that secondary. Just in case he's got more coming in from someplace like those uh, sneaky uh, ski troops. Bring this. He disappears until he shoots. Darn it. I was 
hoping I'd take him down. Oh, crap. Okay, still no change. We're uh, slowly getting our troops in position over at the VPRI to do the attack. And now we land in this aircraft. Uh, pull him back so he didn't get slaughtered. <laughs> you can see where I sent the other one. And going north. I think the train moved and uh, we're trying to cut the train off. moving in position. Hopefully we can kill him. No! Once killed that unit uh, off the map that we didn't see down there to the east. Yeah, the replay system doesn't record it exactly how it happened. Pretty darn close. For those of us that are dumb enough not to hit the record button, it does give us a way of going the battle at least. I don't have to click any buttons, I'm just watching. Airplanes flew away. Yet again, no major change as we move to turn 19. Yeah, the uh, that tank going up there. These tanks are actually chasing where that train went. So it's going to be interesting. Let's see what happens. Are they shooting each other? <laughs> I don't recall him being wounded, but... He may have been wounded. See, you see they're throwing long range because they're doing wops here. Yeah, the results are the same. That one unit that's showing down there, it's, I think it's dead. The Finnish unit. Yeah, this, this Finnish unit here is dead. Like I said, it's not a hundred percent, but it's pretty close.
All right. No changes still. Yeah, see, we're definitely following where the train went in the original. Up this train track. Oh, uh, I did not lose that guy. Interesting. We'll see. Maybe I don't win the battle in the replay. Which would be kind of stupid. But what would be the point of having a replay if I don't win the battle? See if there's these uh, aircraft bomb nothing because that's what I, that's what I used to take out the uh, train with those those two bombers. So we shall see. <laughs> Did that on purpose because I was sick of going around it. Yeah, I took the three armored cars up there and took out that airfield. So we'll see what happens. That did happen, they had heavy weapons. That had heavy weapons. Yeah, see, so took out four, killed that unit. Mmm, did not happen. Oh, maybe it did. Now that I think about it, I did shoot down a fighter over there. Alright, still no major change. Moving on to. Turn 21. Apparently the airplane was still alive. <laughs> so I just shot it again. Ouch. Replay system, not a, definitely not 100%. But it gives the flavor of this. I mean, look at them lob those grenades. They lob them from across the board here. It was all out assault on that victory hex. Trying to get him to move off of it because we were at turn 21. Yeah, they appear to be shooting at each other. They don't have the bad guys in the right spot. Don't know what the hell he shot at. Yeah. See, that's where the train is sitting. Well, of course, it's zero because there's no train there.
Yeah, you'll notice that we got those two units there. The uh, heavy artillery and anti-aircraft gun there are no longer alive. It was brought the tank back because it, it wasn't doing anything to the train. I mean, it was zero, zero, so. Next turn. Love those in there. <laughs> I do, I gotta admit, I do like that long swirl. Yeah, they're gonna bomb the non-existent train for the remaining portion. But we did blow up the train, so... Guess you'll have to take my word for it. This coming from the guy who's too stupid to turn the record button on. Oh well. It happens. You can see that that guy just shot at him. Shot at the airfield because from miles away. Oh, that air that aircraft is down and so is the anti-aircraft gun. My plane just landed there. So yeah, that airfield is now ours. So I would say we're probably batting about 85% accuracy. It looks like he's shooting at him, but that anti-tank gun has got the number five below it. Is the one actually there? All right, let's close. This is twenty-three. Don't know what he's shooting at. I guess it doesn't really matter. You believe that the train that is no that isn't up there is dead. And the unit that's showing in the center is no longer there. I moved everything up to consolidate everything and wait. I wanted to kill the train just because, no particular reason, it wasn't something I needed to do, but I thought it would be good to do. And once I did that, then I moved my unit into the center. And that's the end of the re that is the end of the replay. So anyway, we did finish this up. So what we'll do now is let's just go to the options. And we'll look at this uh, end mission because if we, uh, the uh, the Vi Pry, if we didn't complete it correctly, it wouldn't allow us to go on to the next campaign. So if we load this up, we will notice that we'll close that. We are invasion. Moscow hopes to divide spheres of influence between Soviet Russia and Germany are left in ruins. When Hitler breaches the non-aggression pact, from 1939 and orders the Wehrmacht to, to launch an all-out invasion of Russia, codenamed Operation Barbarossa, in the summer of 41. We will be on the defensive for those that are history buffs or know anything about it. Operation Barbarossa, they just basically plowed, got stuck at Leningrad, stuck at Stalingrad eventually, and reached the outskirts of Moscow, but were thrown back through... Uh, Stalin's use of just manpower. So that's what we're going to do. We'll play defense. But that will be for next time. 
I hope that you didn't mind the fact that uh, this was a little different of an episode because I didn't have the full replay. Replay ended, didn't show the end screens, which is unfortunate. So we're just going to exit back to the menu. And we'll, and this one is continue. And we'll be back next time with another episode and we'll be moving on to the uh, Operation, I don't know if it's called Operation Barbarossa, but we're going to go against the German infantry, which I think out of all the ones we've played, I'll have to go back and look. This is the first time that we have actually had uh, German ground forces. If not, hey, what the hell. We'll, uh, we'll have a good time no matter what. So join me next time. So, and, and as always, I'm Captain Jake wishing you fair winds and following seas. Until next time.